It is time for another It's a Wonderful Lifetime interview. Please welcome Michelle Argress joining us on Skype. Hello, Michelle. Hey, Noah. How's it going? Mommy, come here. I want to introduce you to our Christmas family reunion planners. Oh. <laughs> this is Amy. Hey. And her assistant, Kaylee. Ladies, Hello. this is my mother, Mona. Mona, it is so nice to meet you. Oh, gosh, I love your dress. Oh, this? Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. No, Tiffany bought it for me. She spent way too much money on it, but uh, I do look good in it, don't I? <laughs> it is so great to have you here with us this morning. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, absolutely. So let's talk about your new movie. So share with us the overall premise of Welcome to the Christmas Family Reunion. Good, yes. Welcome to the Christmas Family Reunion. Long title. Um, so it's it's actually, it's a really fun movie. Um, so essentially Amy, uh, which is the character that I play, she is an event planner and mm -hmm. she essentially is navigating through some, you know, challenging family dynamics as she takes on this big party for this, this girl that she looks up to, a famous pop singer, Tiffany Christmas. And uh, her and her cousin, who... Amy also has a, you know, fancies this guy as well. Um, yeah. And, you know, she has to basically choose which house they're, who's going to host Christmas. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, she, she goes through a lot of uh, challenges throughout the film, but she's got a huge heart and all she wants to do is put on the best uh, Christmas family reunion for everyone. So it is so cute. This is such a great yeah. holiday movie, you guys. Now, in your own words, what does pulling off a holiday family reunion look like to you, Michelle? Jeez. Well, <laughs> that's a good question. I've never done one before. So um, but in terms of my own, you know, family, uh, I, I'm actually, I live in Los Angeles and my family's in, in Canada. So every Christmas minus last year, because of the pandemic, I actually did it solo, but mm -hmm. I usually get to go home and, um, we do, you know, hot cocoa and we'll have wine, play games, sometimes a little too much wine, um, uh, you know, and just have that really nice family, uh, time that I, I don't get to get that often because I, I do live apart from my family. So, mm -hmm. um, it's nice to catch up and hug them and spend time with them. And, um, we usually get to open up one present at night. So that's also a little tradition as well. Me too. Um, oh, do you guys get one present? On Christmas Eve, you know, one, you know, because I have a twin sister, Michelle, one time my sister opened all her gifts up on Christmas Eve. I was like, what? What are you even doing, Girl, Danielle? You I'm like, how <laughs> dare you? You can't do that. <laughs> only one, you know. So I have a question for you. If you can only pick one present at, you know, on Christmas Eve, do you go for the tiniest one or do you go for the biggest one? Oh, gosh, Michelle. Um <laughs> Right? I always like to open up a big one because I, you know, it's, well, I will open up a big one if there's more big presents under the tree for Christmas day. If not, then I'll just open up a little one. Sometimes yeah. I've opened up a little one and it's been like, no offense, mom and daddy, but a crappy one. I was like, oh no. I was like, okay. You know, so I was like, it was like socks or something like that. I was like, what? You know, so I was like, oh my goodness. You know, when I was like I a little kid wanting like a toy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the, and sometimes like the best presents come in the smallest sizes too. So you just never know what's going to be in there. You never know because sometimes never, they you, they can trick you. You know, you like sometimes when my mom orders me a Christmas gift and it's like a big box, I'm like, oh, this is just the Amazon box that this little gift came in. How dare you pull a, tr a prank <laughs> like that on me? Yeah, totally. So, so oh funny. So oh yeah, God. that and you know, like I said, just spending time with with family. Um, I really cherish that, and I don't get to do it that often. So, I love Christmas, and Christmas is my favorite time of year. And having done many Christmas movies in the past couple of years, I feel like I celebrate Christmas literally for like the past three years. <laughs> so, um, it's just a warm, fuzzy feeling, you know, when Christmas is coming. And I, I just feel like a lot of people just really resonate with that. So yeah. Now, what was it like? working alongside the charming Alonzo B. Slater, who is your co-star in this movie. Yeah, oh man. Alonzo is like the biggest sweetheart on the planet. He, like we had long days. I mean, these movies, we're, we're do, especially if you're one of like the, the leads in the film, we got, we're doing a lot of the dialogue and there's, you know, sometimes hundred plus pages of words to memorize. Mm -hmm. And so 
he was wonderful. Like him and I kind of supported each other every day. We had lots of different things happen, you know, on the set where we just needed each other. Like, I got you, I got you, let's do this. We can do it, you know, and just, and just have that, that support. Um, and he's such a positive, uh, individual too. So, um, you know, when, when there were little challenges and stuff, he, he was so quick to just be, um, that, you know, that spark of brightness. So yeah. um, a really, really nice guy to work with. Oh my goodness. Well, the cast was phenomenal. It has such a terrific crew, cast, everything about yep. this movie. I think the fans, especially long yep. Lifetime fans, will absolutely love. Now, Lifetime yep. is including so much diversity in their talent this year with holiday movies. I think it's so important to be able to include that. And especially during the holidays when everyone's always wanting to watch a Christmas movie. So how honored are you to be part of a movie that is showing viewers how we should all be celebrated and loved? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for that question. I am extremely honored and I checked out the the lineup and it like to your point there is a lot of diversity and a lot of inclusivity and it it's it's extremely important and uh I'm really really happy to be a part of that. Um it's it's interesting too as I was looking at the lineup, I actually noticed a bunch of different friends that I have in the same lineup, uh Jackie Lai, who's a wonderful friend of mine. I've known her since we were probably 18, 19 on our first commercial set. Um, oh. So it's cool to be both on the Lifetime lineup together. Um, Travis Nelson, who I did uh, last year's Lifetime movie, Homie Christmas with, he's got another one coming out too. So yeah, I'm really excited to be able to uh, watch everyone. And uh, I, I just, I, I've got my, my thing set. I am ready for Christmas for the next 30 days. Michelle, this has been such a great conversation. I am beyond excited to be able to check it out. Welcome to the Christmas Family Reunion. It premieres Monday, November the 29th at 8, 7 Central, part of It's a Wonderful Lifetime on Lifetime, yes. yes, and it is a wonderful Lifetime. Isn't that right, Michelle? <laughs> it is, and thank you so much for having me. This is really fun. Yes, thank you. You have been such a terrific guest, and you're welcome back anytime, and congratulations on your new holiday movie. Thank you. I'm excited thank for you guys to see it. <laughs> yes. All right, thanks. <laughs> thank you.